Gary of the Circus. For Jerry of the circus. Mr. Randall? Well? It's Major Mike, Mr. Randall. Are you busy? Can I see you for a minute? Oh, yes, Major. Come in. I'll only take a few minutes of your time, Mr. Randall. That's okay, Major. I was going over my books here, but they can wait. What's on your mind? Well, Mr. Randall, I, I don't know just how to start, but, well, I've really come to talk to you about Jerry. Jerry? Well... You see, Mr. Randall, a boy's just about heartbroken not being able to work with that new elephant, El Mundo. Well, it's his own fault, Major. I must have discipline on the lot. But I don't think he had anything to do with cutting the bearded lady's beard off. I don't either, but I do think he knows who it was. Say, you don't happen to have anything to do with that beard-cutting job, do you? Who? Me? Why, Mr. Randall? Well, I happen to know you don't have a lot of love for the bearded lady. Well, she riles me. I... Uh, 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 you even get mad thinking about it. Yes, I do. Well, then isn't it reasonable for me to suspect you of cutting her beard off? Oh, Mr. Randall. Uh, well, what is it you want to talk to me about, about Jerry? Uh, I wanted to ask you if you wouldn't let him go ahead and work El Mundo. He's got his heart set on it, and he was so excited about that uniform. I think he'd be a big attraction with the elephant. Uh, why this sudden interest in Jerry? Oh, I've always liked Jerry. Well, he's a great boy, but I can't have underhanded work going on. He's shielding someone, Major, and I don't like it. After all, he's working for me, and I'm paying him. If he's going to be loyal to anyone, I should be first. Well, but maybe he can't tell you. Nonsense. But if he feels that way, then let him take the punishment. Well, is that all, Major? You won't reconsider and let him work, El Mundo? No. I've got to find out who cut the beard off the bearded lady. Maybe Jerry will decide to tell me how he happened to borrow those shears from Clara. The best way to make a boy behave is to take something away from him that he wants badly. But, Mr. Randall... That was no prank, Major. What good's a bearded lady without a beard? She has no value at all now. At least until her beard grows out again, and that'll take months. Well, it serves her right. What's that? Well, it was her own fault, Mr. Randall. I, uh... I believe you know more about this than you're saying. Why, Mr. Randall... Now, I... listen, Major. If you know anything, I, I want you to tell me. You come to me pleading for Jerry. Now, if you really want to help Jerry, tell me all you know. If you learn who really cut the beard off, will you let Jerry ride El Mundo? Well, well, yes, I will. After all, that's what I want to find out. Well, you won't tell the bearded lady. I I'm afraid you're she'll... afraid. Oh, you, know, you promise you won't tell her. Well, all right, out with it. Who did it? Well, now, Mister Randall, I hope you won't get too angry. Out but... with it, Major. Well, sir, I cut the beard off. Oh. Yes, sir. But she had it coming, really, she did. Now, now, let me decide that. I'll tell you the whole story, and then I'll bet you'll agree with me. Well, it better be good. Well, in the first place, she'd been sending threatening notes to Carmen Bendini. She'd been threatening Carmen's life, Mr. Randall. What? She threatened to put acid on the tight wire the Bendinis used. And the last note she sent to Carmen had a dagger stuck through it. All right. She really had Carmen scared, and the Bendini brothers were going to take it into their own hands. Hmm. Well, that's bad, but, uh... What did the bearded lady have against Carmen? She's jealous. That's what she is. Jealous? Well, jealous of whom? Well, I guess me. You? Because I've been paying a little attention to Carmen. Yes, sir. She said in one of those notes that if Carmen didn't get out of the circus right away, her life would be in danger. Mm. Is 
Is this the truth, Major? Positively, Mr. Randall. But why didn't you come to me? Why do you always take things in your own hands? Oh, I really couldn't help it. Really, I couldn't. I just got the idea that by cutting her beard off, I'd get even. It might scare her into behaving herself. I just got the idea, and the first thing I knew, I did it. And you went in and did your barber trick while she was sleeping? Yes, sir. Major, I don't know what to say to this. Threatening people as she did common is bad, very bad. Yes, sir. Folks that work on the wire are naturally high, strung, and nervous. It's upset her plenty, Mr. Randall. Yes, I can well imagine. Well, what are you going to do with me? Well, Major, I, I'm i going to forget the whole thing. And you won't tell the bearded lady I did it? No, no, I won't. And you don't have to worry about her any longer, either. No? No, I've already let her go. She's leaving the circus this afternoon. You cut that beard pretty short, Major. Yes, She's sir. of no value at all with her beard as short as it is. Is she going to join up with us again when that beard grows in? Well, I, uh, I haven't decided that yet. At any rate, she doesn't have to worry about money while her beard is growing in. She had it insured. What? <laughs> yes, she'll... You... You'll get a nice piece of money from the insurance company. Well, of all things. Yeah. Now, you will let Jerry work with El Mundo, Mr. Randall, will you? Well, why, sure. <laughs> you know, Major, <laughs> I'm kind of glad this whole thing came to light. I won't have people around my show that send threatening letters to other performers. No, sir. Maybe without her beard, she'll cool off now. And this little vacation will give her a chance to think it over. Now, can I go and tell Jerry that you said it was okay for him to go ahead and rehearse El Mundo? <laughs> sure. Go look him up. Tell him I said to go over to Clara and tell her to finish up his uniform right away. Tell him to report to Olson and rehearse his tricks with the elephant. Oh, thank you, Mr. Randall. Jerry will sure be glad to hear this news. And thanks for being so easy with me. And all right, Major. But next time... Come to me first with anything at all. I, I I want to know about it first. You understand? Yes, sir. You're you're not to take anything into your own hands. Yeah, you know, you, you do some dangerous things when you get angry. Yes, sir. Well, all right, Major. Run along now and tell Jerry what I said. Well, goodbye, Mr. Randall. Goodbye, Major. Well, that was easy. Oh, won't Jerry be happy now to know how I fix things for him? Uh, hiya, Major. Oh, greetings, greetings. <laughs> you seem to be awful happy today. What happened to your usual ground? I am happy, and what's more, I'm always going to be happy from now on. Oh, yeah? Ah, tut, tut, young man. Oh, say, have you seen Jerry around any place? Jerry? Yeah, Jerry Dugan. Oh, the boy. That's right. Have you seen him? Uh, well, yeah, he just cut across here a second ago. He was heading... Uh, uh, there he goes now. See oh, him? Oh, yes, yeah, thanks. Uh, hey, Jerry, oh, Jerry! <laughs> Jerry! <laughs> Sure. Uh, oh, come here, Jerry. I got some good news for you. you got a problem? I got some good news for you. Right, right. Everything is all fixed. What are you talking about? I just left Mr. Randall and I told him everything. I confessed to the whole thing myself. You did? Oh, gee, you're swell. Oh, Mr. Randall was very nice about it, and he told me to tell you to report to Olsen again and finish learning your tricks with El Mundo. You mean it? Of course I mean it. He told me to tell you to go right ahead with your rehearsing and said for you to go over to Clara and tell her to get busy on the uniform. You know, the one you're going to wear when you work the elephant? I, I can't believe it. Well, it's true, Jerry. I made a clean breast of the whole thing. And I told Mr. Randall you had nothing to do with it. And I thought you should be given a chance to work El Mundo. Oh, Major, that's keen. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Now hurry up and get over to Olsen and start learning your tricks for the elephant. But what about the bearded lady? Well, we won't have to worry about her any longer. How come? She's leaving the circus this afternoon. No fooling. That's right. Now run along and I'll tell you all about it later. Okay, and thanks again, Major. Come on, Raggy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, so long, Jerry. Oh, so long. Come on, Raggy. <laughs> hurry up. <laughs> I'm going to be a performer after all. And... And I'll just bet I'll be good doing those tricks with El Mundo. <laughs> this way, Rags. In here in the menagerie. <laughs> Olson! Olson! Here we are, Jerry. It, it's okay now. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. I can work with El Mundo after all. Oh. What do you mean, Jerry? Well, Mr. Randall told me I couldn't work with him, and now he says I can. Oh. Claire is going to make up my uniform, and, and I'll be ready to work just as soon as I learn those tricks. Oh, <laughs> Good. <laughs> I was just trying to put this big fella through some of those stunts just now. Quiet, Ray. Now you go lay down someplace and behave yourself. I'm well, getting very far with this foreigner, though. Well, haven't you learned your Spanish yet? Nope. I guess it'll be a long time before I do. <laughs> I ain't so quick to catch on to them funny lingos. 
but Carmen told you a couple of things to say, didn't she? Oh, sure, I got them okay. And it's a good thing, too, else I couldn't get this guy to do anything. Carmen is teaching me everything there is to say to him. <laughs> Hi, El Mundo. <laughs> oh, he knows his name. That's one thing. Well, what'll I do first, Olson? Well, now, let's see. Well, how about getting up on his head this time? I'll, I'll get his foot up for you. All right, up, 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 uh, uh, avant say, El Mundo. Hey, hey, look at him. He, he's putting it off. <laughs> now, grab a hold of his trunk and climb up. Like, like this? Uh-huh. Now, when he bends his trunk, sit on it. All right, now, now, quick, Gary. That's a boy. <laughs> hey, he, he's lifting me up. <laughs> oh, boy. That's it. Now, step over onto his head, but don't let loose of his trunk until you're sure you're up there. All right. Yeah, that's the way. <laughs> Good fellow, El Mundo. <laughs> yeah, I think you're beginning to understand little English. <laughs> now what, Olson? Well, you'll just have to get used to it up there. I'll have him walk around with you a little bit. Um, um, a marshata, El Mundo. Hey, he's going. Swell, Olsen. Yeah. He, what did you say to him? That's a new one. Oh, that's one of the words Carmen told me. Marshata means march. Hey, th this is your fun up here. Hey, hey make him go faster. It won't fall off. Ah, I'm all right. Okay, then here goes the word for faster. Let's see now, how, how I say it? Uh, it's, uh, oh, yes. Uh, uh, rap, uh, rapido, rapido, El Mundo. Hey, that's good. <laughs> You're doing all right, too. Hey, it, it, it's sure rocky up here. I, <laughs> I feel like I'm on a boat. Yeah, <laughs> just like a boat. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you don't get seasick. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll start you over by the backyard so that all your friends can see you. Hey, go on back, Ray. Go away. <laughs> I guess your pup thinks the elephant's taking you away. <laughs> go on now, Rags. I I'm all right up here. Go away. Go on. Go on, Ray. Vamos. Vamos, Rags. Vamos. Hey, whoa, 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 El Mundo. Whoa. Hey, whoa. Hey, hey Olsen, he's running away with me. Hold on, Jerry. You sure said the wrong thing that time, well, Jerry. Well, what do you mean? Uh, well, you said vamoose to rags, and El Mundo thought you meant it for him. Carmen told me that word, and it means to run. Well, stop him. Stop him, Olsen. Well, how, how will I stop him? I, I can't remember what the word is. Tut, tut, El Mundo. Stop, quick. Whoa, whoa. Get Carmen quick. He, he's going faster. Yes, sir. Find out how to stop him, Olsen. Oh. Hurry. Well, I'll go see if I can get Carmen, Jerry. Keep pulling on his ears so he keeps going around in a circle. 